Well, yesterday was not a bad day in the end. There were a lot of tourists about, it's true, and it was very, very noisy. Lots of little boats whizzing around all over the place. And I seemed to arrive at lunchtime, because that's when it was low tide. And so everybody was sitting on the beach, as it were, eating their picnics. So not a brilliant day for making a recording, but in a week's time, most of the tourists will have gone back home, and I shall skedaddle off down there again. I did, however, find this incredible little gallery called the Cove Gallery down in the boatyards. There's a lot of old ramshackle old buildings that have been there for years and years. It's the whole atmospheric part of Salcombe. I think I may have said Dartmouth. I did mean Salcombe. And as I was walking down the lane, I overheard a couple saying, oh, they're going to knock all these down and rebuild them. And I thought, the way of the world, isn't it? Such a pity, because that's where all the character is. And this is where all the bits and pieces are. So here we go. What did I find yesterday? A scallop shell, of which there were many, but you know, they make brilliant, brilliant uh, moulds. Out of which there were two or three of these little tiny fragments of scallop shell which will probably make um, pendant pieces or earring moulds. I did get a lot of um, bits of pottery, lots and lots and lots of blue and greenware pottery. And Bella, shush. And I also found quite a few of these beautiful little bits and pieces, which are, if I can hold it up so you can see the rusty and coloured bits. Not that that's going to make the slightest bit of difference because they'll be pressed into epoxy moulding paste and made into um, component parts, the beginnings of component parts. But it does give me an idea for how to distress and build up the layers of metal leaf. There were quite a few of those actually, all sorts of little bits. You just find them on the road or in the back of the boatyards. Ah yes, and a beer bottle cap which has really, really, really been squashed. That's so nice. In fact, I can just more or less copy that on both sides and turn it into a sort of oxidised silver earring, perhaps. There were quite a lot of these what are called bolt plates. Um, they may be square, but they look more, more diamond shaped. And again, they've got beautiful surface ero erosion on them from the, from the rust. I found a piece of bone Goodness knows, it could be an old sailor. It's certainly probably an animal, but you can never tell, can you, when it gets to this stage? <laughs> Inspector Morse, where are you? Did he do carbon dating? And there's, um, there's a bit of hay on that. Driftwood, of course. Just beautiful. A piece of driftwoody bark of possibly a Monterey pine. Again, just great surface. Two old bits of rusty metal, which I think could be made into um, long thin pendants if I make the moulds out of them. Hey ho, for a heart shape out of bark. How about that? <laughs> Wherever I go, I find heart shape pendants. Years and years ago, I used to go out with somebody who seemed to have no emotions, didn't last terribly long. And uh, one day we were on the beach and I suddenly found a limestone torso that reminded me of him. And then lying by its side was a, a limestone heart and it reminded me that perhaps he'd lost his heart on the beach. Certainly didn't lose it to me, I don't think. There we go, piece of plastic with hole in, beach, beach washed and eroded. This is gorgeous, it's a sort of plasticky thing. Ooh, my fingers are too big to show you. There. Pressed in, it'll be lovely. You know, and the colours just remind me that that soft turquoise is a good, and the grey is a good colour to follow later on. A crab bit. In themselves they're nothing special, are they? But if you look closely, they have lots of colour in them, and lots of texture, and shape, and uh, pièce de résistance, a crab claw, complete with what looked like a row of little teeth, which of course, in a way, are a claw hammer. 
sound like some old TV programme, don't I? A claw hammer. <laughs> the inner part of a beach washed almond shell. Could be a peach. A little barnacle. I don't know what to call them when you get the trails because they're not really barnacles, are they? But they do have this sort of calcified trail. I see them as barnacles. This is interesting because it's a shell and in it is some little creature hidden away and a barnacle trail. That would be quite interesting with a mould. And I've ordered the uh, silly gum, so the epoxy moulding paste, so that will be coming in a few days. Lots of tiny little bits of um, brick, I suppose, or earthenware tiles that have got washed into stones and pebbles. Oh, and verdigris, copper nails, lots and lots and lots. Some have lost their heads, which I've got a couple of, which are quite nice to make components. Obviously verdigris is poisonous, so I've really only picked them up for the shape and the colour. I want to see if I can get that exact colour of green. Um, I think that's about it really, but not bad for a hoard. And next week I'll go down again and see if I can take some film of the place because it is such a lovely place. And if they're going to knock the boatyard down, that's quite a pity. So I urge you all to look at the little gallery. I'll put the link on the bottom. Very nice if you like that sort of thing. And I'm going to go into the studio now and get on with some painting.